Begum Hazrat Mahal by GM HDR MEHLC 7 April 1879 also called as Begum of Awa was the second wife of Nawab Wajid Ali Shah Wajid Ali Shah met her in his palace after her husband had been exiled to Calcutta she took charge of the affairs in the state of Awa and seized control of Lucknow she also arranged for her son, Prince Birji's Qadr, to become Wali ruler of Awa, however, she was forced to abandon this role after a short reign. She rebelled against the British East India Company during the Indian Rebellion of 1857. She finally found asylum in Nepal where she died in 1879. Biography <inaudible> 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 Mahal's name was Muhammadi Kanam, and she was born at Faizabad, Awa, India. She was a courtesan by profession and had been taken into the royal harem as a kawasan after being sold by her parents. She was then sold to royal agents, and later promoted to a parai, and was known as Mahak Parai. She became a begum after being accepted as a royal concubine of the king of Awa, and the title Hazrat Mahal was bestowed on her after the birth of their son, Birji's Qadra. She was a junior wife of the last Tidar e Awa, Wajid Ali Shah. The British had annexed Awa in 1856 and Wajid Ali Shah was exiled to Calcutta. After her husband was exiled to Calcutta, she took charge of the affairs of the state of Awa despite her divorce from the Nawab, which then was a large part of the current state of Uttar Pradesh, India. Topic: <laughs> Indian Mutiny of 1857. During the Indian Mutiny, from 1857 to 1858, Begum Hazrat Mahal's band of supporters, led by Raja Jalal Singh, rebelled against the forces of the British. Later, they seized control of Lucknow and she declared her son, Birji's Qadra, as the ruler Wali of Oudh. One of the principal complaints of Begum Hazrat Mahal was that the East India Company had casually demolished temples and mosques just to make way for roads. In a proclamation issued during the final days of the revolt, she mocked the British claim to allow freedom of worship to eat pigs and drink wine, to bite greased cartridges and to mix pig's fat with sweetmeats, to destroy Hindu and Muslim temples on pretense of making roads, to build churches, to send clergymen into the streets to preach the Christian religion, to institute English schools, and pay people a monthly stipend for learning the English sciences, while the places of worship of Hindus and Muslims are to this day entirely neglected. With all this, how can people believe that religion will not be interfered with? When the forces under the command of the British recaptured Lucknow and most of Oudh, she was forced to retreat. Hazrat Mahal worked in association with Nana Saheb, but later joined the Malavi of Faizabad in the attack on Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Indian Mutiny of 1857 Ultimately, she had to retreat to Nepal, where she was initially refused asylum by the Rana Prime Minister Jang Bahadur, but was later allowed to stay. She died there in 1879 and was buried in a nameless grave in the grounds of Kathmandu's Jama Masjid. After her death, on the occasion of the Jubilee of Queen Victoria 1887, the British government pardoned Birji's Kedar and he was allowed to return home. Memorials Begum Hazrat Mahal's tomb is located in central part of Kathmandu near Jama Masjid, Gantagar, nor far away from the famous Darbar Marg. It is looked after by the Jama Masjid Central Committee. On 15 August 1962, Mahal was honoured at the Old Victoria Park in Hazratganj, Lucknow for her role in the Great Revolt. Along with the renaming of the park, a marble memorial was constructed, which includes a marble tablet with four round brass plaques bearing the coat of arms of the Awa royal family. The park has been used for Ramlilas and bonfires during Dushara, as well as Lucknow Mahatsava Lucknow Exposition. On 10 May 1984, the Government of India issued a commemorative stamp in honour of Mahal. The first day cover was designed by C.R. Pakrashi, and the cancellation was done by Alka Sharma. 15. 000 stamps were issued. The Ministry of Minority Affairs, Government of India has started the Begum Hazrat Mahal National Scholarship for meritorious girls belonging to minority communities in India. This scholarship is implemented through the Maulana Azad Education Foundation. 